So what do you do when you're out all day and you have just one app, but it's not busy? My name is Russ and in today's video, I wanna share some thoughts on multi-apping versus just using one. What do you do? You know, today it was really dead on Instacart. So instead I used Grubhub and Uber Eats. It got quite busy. I did a total of 13 orders on both of those apps earning roughly about $130, and I drove 90 miles. Now, dollars to miles aren't good, but it's still slow, and I want to make some money. But if I was only relying on Instacart, I'd have made nothing, pretty much nothing. I know tonight it would get a little bit busier on Instacart, but all day today, what would I have done? Just go home? I met two full-time DoorDash drivers the other day in an Indian restaurant. It was really nice talking to them. The one gentleman had a total of 24,000 deliveries. The second had 20,000 deliveries. Can you believe that? That is so much. And you know what they were sharing? That they make really good money. I saw um, the one gentleman showed me his. He made $1,600 for the week on DoorDash, and that's pretty good money. I don't, again, I don't know how many miles he drove, but in general, if you're considering earning money in the gig economy, that brings up the old debate, multi-apping versus just using one app exclusively. I'm not saying that I don't support multi-apping because I do. That's how I make money. I do this part-time, and so I can't guarantee that I have a whole day or more to dedicate to one app. Um, you know, I'm sure that I could make more money on Grubhub if I schedule blocks for the one day that I'm available all day. I just haven't done it yet because I don't know what's gonna come up. But it did make me think, you know what? What if I was a top dasher, a premier driver? What would those benefits look like? Something to think about. Both of those gentlemen were very happy and they offered, hey, don't work yourself to death. Just stick to eight hours or 10 hours during the day. Don't do 12 like the one guy did. So what does that mean for you? Should you just go out and only work for one app? Maybe. It depends on your market. In my market right now, it is a little bit slow. And so if I was just on one app, maybe I wouldn't make as much. But if I was always on that one app as a top dasher, maybe they'd be sending me a ton of orders and I'd be quite happy. And that seems to be the case for these two gentlemen. Today, I met another gentleman who's trying to be a top dasher, and he told me before that he had that status and then he lost it and he's trying to get it back. One good little perk, he said that he completely messed up an order delivering food to the wrong house, and the customer support said, basically, don't worry about it. We're paying for the food. Just get back on the road. So DoorDash was appreciating his dedicated selflessness to them driving for their app exclusively and just said get back out on the road and keep driving so there is something to be said for that too you know when i happened to get deactivated off doordash i was doing it part-time maybe if i was full-time they would have had more concern who knows so there are some pros and cons of only driving for one app exclusively and there are pros and cons for multi-apping Another consideration, when you multi-app, it's really hard to get fired off of all the apps at the same time. If one is busy, you go with it. If the other one's slow, stay away from it. You have options when you have multiple apps that you work for. Now, when you only work for one, if something happens, either it's slow or you get deactivated, something crazy could happen, then you have no income. So that is an important consideration when you're thinking of just doing one app or many. Again, it does make me think, am I gonna do it? I don't know, but I might commit more time to just one app and see if I notice my earnings increasing versus splitting it up over all the apps. Are we gonna solve the issue right now? No, of course not, but it has made me think. And, you know, today was a great example. Instacart was dead. I would have made nothing. If I try to just exclusively, say, get shifts on Grubhub and compare my earnings to doing it part-time, just multi-apping with Uber Eats and Instacart in the mix, that would be interesting. Same thing for Amazon Flex. What if I try to schedule myself, uh, say, the one day when I'm available and see how it turns out? That is something that I'll think about. Or here's another idea. 
What if you get on one app, which is what you should do anyway, get really good at it where you're very proficient at it, and then add in another app to the mix, learn that really well, and that way you can multi-app. At this point, you can choose. Try just going with the one app for a while and see how it goes if you make quite a bit of money being at the top tier, whether that's Top Dasher, Premier Driver, Uber, Super Pro, whatever they call it. Just try to get to the top and just see how your miles stack up with your pay and your hours that you do and see if it works for you. And then take a pause from that, work on the other apps, multi-apping, which is primarily what I do now, and compare your mileage, pay, hours, and see how that works for you. So that's something to think about. I know it is a tough issue. There's no right or wrong answer, yes or no, black or white. It's not exactly completely clear. There are many ways of making money in the gig economy. And also, I need to be flexible to realize that and not necessarily stick to only one way or only another. It may differ in my market and in yours as well. But it is something important to think about, and that's why I want to share this with you today. Please consider your options. So what are your thoughts? Please share in the comments below. Do you multi-app? Do you stick with one app? Do you know that making money is important, but it's not everything? I have a playlist here for you of driver safety videos. These are very important for you to consider because if you're not safe, you're not able to go out and make money. Please don't forget to like this video and like the channel and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.